Hi and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will make a simple 3D drawing of indexing fixture in AutoCAD and basically I will use revolve command of AutoCAD to make this drawing. So let's start with 3D modeling workspace of AutoCAD. So from this drop down, make sure that you are in 3D modeling. And if you are not in 3D modeling, then change it to 3D modeling. You can alternatively change it to 3D modeling by this gear icon as well. So click on this gear icon and change it to 3D modeling if you're not in this workspace. So once you're in 3D modeling, start with the draw command and from this draw panel, select this line tool. Now click at a point in drawing area and enter a length of 20 units and press enter. So this will make a line with length 20 units. Now press enter to exit this command. Now press enter again to start line command and now click at this point and now make a line with length equal to 23 units. Now make sure this line is vertical and if you're not finding it as vertical, you can also turn on auto mode by pressing F8 key. Now make another line towards right with length of 12.5 units and press enter and now join these two endpoints. So here we have this small closed geometry. Now again, go to line command and this time click at this point and now make a line with length equal to 47 units towards downward direction and make sure this line is also vertical. So here we have it. Now select offset command, give a offset distance of 10 units, press enter, select this line and offset it towards right. Now press enter and press enter again to repeat the offset command and this time give a offset distance of 12.5 units and press enter and again click at this line and click at this point. So here we have these two parallel lines. Now we need to again make some changes to this. So let's start with line command. Click at this point and again make an overlapping line with length 19 units. Press enter and drag it towards right and click at this intersection point. Now we need to clean this geometry, but before cleaning, let's close this side as well with line command. So select line and click at these two endpoints so that this is a completely closed geometry. Now let's select trim command from modify panel and press enter. Now click at this line and then click at this line. We also don't need this line and this line. So carefully remove all the lines which I've removed from this geometry and now press enter. Now go to fillet command from modify panel and select radius and enter a radius value of one unit. Now click on this line, which is the vertical one and then click on this small line and enter a radius of one unit in between these two lines. Press enter again to repeat the fillet command and apply this fillet in between these two lines as well. So we have made this geometry. Now let's join it completely into a single unit. So select all these geometries, but make sure that this vertical line is not selected from your geometry and now type J and press enter. So now this will join this complete geometry into a single unit. And if you're not seeing it as a single unit, which I am not finding it now, then select this geometry again, type J, press enter. And now you'll notice that this complete segment is joined into a single units. So now we can remove these geometries, these vertical lines, we don't need them. And now go to this fly out on extrude and select revolve. Now select this geometry, which we made, press enter and then specify axis by clicking at this point and then at this point. So here we have this geometry. Make sure that in command line we have a complete angle of 360 degrees. So if you don't have this angle, then type 360 and press enter. So now we have a completely circular geometry. Now we can see the difference by changing the visual style. So click on this visual style control, change it to shaded and now go to view cube and select this home icon. So now you'll see the change which we have made in this geometry. Let's select this parallel and let's orbit this drawing to see what we have drawn. So here we have this geometry. Now we need to make some changes to this geometry as well. So let's deselect this grid and now we need to make something on the top of it. So for making drawing on the top of this, we need to select this plane. So this is the back plane. So click on back from this view cube and now click on this fly out on coordinates panel and select view. 
So this is very important step. Make sure that you're selecting this view. Now go to circle command from draw panel and locate the center point for this geometry. So here we have the center point and now enter a circle with radius of 6.5 units. So type 6.5 and press enter. So here we have the circle with radius 6.5 units. Now go to this home icon again and orbit this geometry if required. And now we need to remove this portion from this complete geometry. So for that, select this press pull, move inside the circle which we have made. Don't click on the boundary of this circle and now drag your cursor all the way downwards so that it passes through this geometry and then click. So here we have this geometry and a groove has been made inside this. Now again, go to the view which we have initially selected by clicking on the top of this view cube, select parallel view. And now we again need to make some changes to this. So the first thing that we need to add here is a rectangle. So let's select this rectangle and go to the center of this circle. So click at the center. Now type at on command line, then type a length for this rectangle. And I'm using a length of 25 units for this then comma and then two as the width and press enter. So here we have this rectangle. So you don't need to worry if this rectangle is being made on this direction or this direction because the direction of X is towards downward side. So it will obviously be made towards downward side. Now we need to make sure that this rectangle snaps exactly at the center. So for that zoom and go to this move command, select the rectangle, press enter and now select this midpoint and make sure that this midpoint snaps to the center point. So click on this center point. So now we have this correct geometry. Now click on this home icon and let's see where this rectangle is. So this rectangle is not at the correct position which we want. So we need to move this rectangle to the top of it. For moving it first, move on to this world coordinate system and change our coordinate to the default values which it was initially. And now select this rectangle and now select this move command from modify panel and now click at any point of this rectangle and now you'll notice that this rectangle now moves along with our cursor and make sure this green tracking vector appears when we move this so now we need to enter a distance and the distance is 70 units so type 70 and press enter and you'll notice that the rectangle is now moved to the top of this geometry let's orbit this drawing to see where our rectangle is so here we have this rectangle now we need to again make a extrusion out of this. So for that, go to extrude command, select this rectangle and press enter. Now we need to extrude it in downward direction up to the distance of 44 units. So now enter minus 44 because we are going to move it towards downward direction. So you need to enter minus 44 and press enter. So here we have it. So now we need to again make three copies of this. So now we need to make a polar array of this geometry. Now for making a polar array, make sure that this top plane is selected. So once again, select this fly out, go to face and click on this top face and press enter. So now this top face is selected as X, Y plane. Now go to this polar array. So when you click on this fly out, you'll see rectangular path and polar array, select polar array from this, select this geometry and press enter. Now select the midpoint of the circle. So make sure that you're only selecting the midpoint and not accidentally selecting any other point. So when you move your cursor towards the side of this circle, you'll notice the center point. Now one center point is visible, click and then change number of items to three and press tab key. Now we have here three items and now let's deselect this associative option and click on close array. So here we have this object. So select all these three objects and now click on this join or solid union. So for solid union, you need to select the object and then click on all the objects again and then press enter and now it's combined into a single unit. So we need to subtract now this geometry from this one. So let's select the subtract, select the main geometry, press enter and now select this geometry which we have created and press enter again. And here we have this geometry subtracted from the main geometry. So of our drawing is almost complete. Now we only need to add one final detail to this. So for that, select this right side view and right click and select parallel. 
Now we need to make this as our XY plane. So for that, again, go to this fly out on coordinates and select view. So now we need to make a rectangle. So for that, go to rectangle command from this draw panel, select this point anywhere randomly, then type add on command line, enter a length of five units and then a width of eight units and press enter. So here we have this rectangle. Now we need to make some arcs on the top and bottom of this rectangle. For that, select this two point circle from the circle fly out and click at this point and then at this point, then repeat the circle, two point circle, click at this point and then at this point. Now we need to remove everything which is inside this geometry. For that, click on this trim command, press enter. Now click inside here and then click here. So the complete geometry is now cleaned. Now select the complete geometry, then type J and press enter to join this geometry into a single unit. Now we need to move this geometry to this position. For that, let's select this move command. I'm not very precise here, so we only need to move it randomly at a position. So let's select this central geometrical snap or any other snap if you want. Let's select this midpoint also. And let's move it here and make sure that this is a little bit upwards from that point, from that center point. And here we have it. So now we have placed it inside. Let's orbit this geometry to locate where it is. And here we have it inside this geometry, which we obviously don't want. We want to move it to either on the top of it or on the bottom of it. So for that, select this one. But before selecting, let's again move this view. So let's select this view and select this view from this flyout. Now select this geometry and go to move command, click at any point move your cursor upwards and now click here. So here we have it. So now we have placed it at the correct position. Now we need to make an extrusion out of this. So select extrude, select this geometry and press enter. Now extrude it all the way through this geometry. And again, we need to subtract it from this main geometry. For subtracting, select the subtract, select the main geometry, press enter, and then select this subtracting geometry and press enter again. And now here we have this final geometry. You can also remove all of these 2D lines, which you can see here, or you can directly select this geometry, select move command and move it to someplace else. And when you move, you'll see that all the 2D geometries will be in there. They will be left out and that you can delete later on. So here we have this final geometry, which we wanted to make. And if you have any questions related to this, then do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe if you want more such tutorials from SourceCAD. Thanks again for watching.